Hey everybody, this is the last video in our Best Picture series. Truly and I got to talking about Darkest Hour for like two seconds, and then it became a whole other thing. So, we're gonna talk about Darkest Hour a little bit, but mostly we're gonna talk about the Academy as a whole, and what are we to make of this Best Picture field this year. How's it going, man? Good. All right. Do we even want to talk about Darkest Hour? Not really. Right? I mean, look, Gary Oldman disappears into everything he does. We got halfway through this movie. I was watching it with my wife, and I asked her, have you seen Gary Oldman yet? Yeah. Like halfway through. Because legitimately, I was like, look, I was looking at his eyes and his, just his mm -hmm. face. I, I didn't recognize him at all. There's Part a bit of trailer where I'm like, that's Oldman. Yeah. Well, it got about halfway through, and there was like an angle where his fat suit wasn't quite so obvious mm -hmm. or whatever, and I saw him, and then for the rest of the movie, that's all I could see. Is that how Winston Churchill talks? Because I always pictured him more jowly. Um, a little like Nixon, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he is, he's the British Nixon. They call yeah. him that. Cigars. Um, all that to say, we took this movie very seriously. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It's got zero chance of winning. You and I were talking about this, and more than any year previously, you can really start to see the divide in new Academy members versus old Academy members. Right. Uh, last year in like 2017, there was approximately 6,687 members, and then they added 774 new members. So I think right. we're starting to see that effect play out in the nominations. Right. It's like they've decided there are two ways to win an Oscar. Mm -hmm. And and with nine nominees, it's like it's split right right down the middle. What did we decide? It was it was Get Out, Call Me by Your Name, Three Billboards, Lady Bird, and Lady Bird on yeah. one side. On the other side, there's the traditional. There's the Post. There's the Dunkirk. There's um, Darkest Hour, and um, Phantom Fan Thread. And there's Phantom Thread. Yeah. So the, those four are like the super traditional. Like here's how you win an Oscar. <laughs> yeah. So Darkest Hour is is squarely over here in the traditional camp. So it wasn't particularly interesting or dynamic mm -hmm. or new, but it's got a puncher's chance because it's a World War II biopic. Yeah. It's, a, it's King's Speech or it's Imitation Game. It's good, it's very good. Is it the best? Is it unique? Is it saying something interesting or illuminating some portion of history in any way? Not really. More than any other nominee, I think this is the best example of like, what's what are we doing, Academy? Like, yeah. there's like half of the Academy is literally going like, no, 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 this is the best picture. It's got to be big and glossy, and it's got to be about the past, uh, and it's got to be based on a true story. And you have to have either Meryl, Tom, Gary, Daniel Day, uh, or the rest of the Academy is like, look, if you spend more than three million dollars on a movie, I don't even want to see it. Like, it's gotta be cheap, and it's yeah. gotta be socially conscious, and it's gotta be inventive and new. Is that a crux of, of cost so much as like, sort of, I hate to use the phrase new school of filmmaking, because it sounds so pretentious, but like, these sort of films that are on the edge and very modern, they don't need these larger budgets, not that they couldn't use them, but right. they're saying something about right now versus like, sort of looking at something back then. But also like, their their story for it first, their message mm -hmm. first. They're not spectacle first. Like the Dunkirk is like a big spectacle. We made it. We made a whole new. We made the war yeah. again, you guys, and we put it on on film. That, that type of movie will always get nominated. The Titanic's and the Avatars. So we're seeing a shift from just being impressed with the fact that they got the longest day made, or that they got Titanic made. Uh, because it's such a giant, sweeping, difficult movie to actually produce, versus a producer that shepherds a worthwhile story yeah. through the entire machinery of Hollywood and all that stuff. That sort of one side you're talking about with three billboards and Lady Bird and everything, it's like, these are stories about us. Us as like uh, a society, and on the other side it's stories about that person. And how, know, how maybe or maybe not relevant that person still is to what we're going through today. I think, I think Dunkirk has a better chance than uh, Darkest Hour, mm -hmm. although let's just make one long movie out of these two, probably. Yeah, it feels, uh, it feels <laughs> like we could recut World War II in real time from every movie mm -hmm. that was made out of World War II. Yeah, throw a little Saving like, I mean, Get the old Hamburger Hills. Uh -huh. get just the like, Longest Day and Saving Private Ryan have D-Day covered. Yeah. It's a glossy World War II biopic. Mm -hmm. So it's got a chance. I think Dunkirk is more relevant thematically to what's going on here, so I think that's got a little bit better of a chance. Then I, I don't think Darkest Hour has a shot then, because I think they give Gary Oldman Best Actor, and then 
we just don't hear from it. So it it's it's yeah. gonna get recognized in some of the on down you know down ballot. I keep wanting to call it Winston Churchill the movie. I, th- <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. Let's just see if it catches it. Hey, Winston Churchill the movie. Did you see that? It's gonna catch on. I honestly thought the the TV show Broadchurch was about Winston Churchill because he was like fat and his name was Churchill and they were like, yeah, we'll call it Fat Churchill. And they were like, nah, nah, Broadchurch. You got to get like 10% more clever than that. It's going on Netflix. Cigars, cigars and brandy, If the Nazis come, we won't have any brandy.